From secret meetings to untold events or just straight up bizarre occurrences, some of what comes out of the White House leaves many wondering what really goes on behind closed doors. It's Friday. We turn now to One America's Chief White House Correspondent, Monica Page, with her weekly roundup, The White House Exposed. We're just about at the final stretch before Election Day. But it hasn't been an easy road getting to this point, and this final stretch is only just the beginning, especially for Kamala Harris. Kamala appears to be making up for lost time, canvassing those key demographics who have been abandoning her in droves, like the Black and Hispanic vote, the Arab American vote, and even independence in key swing states. When you flip a group from going plus five Biden to now plus one Trump, that's the type of movement Donald Trump loves to see, and it's the type of movement that I think gives Democrats some agita. Some agita indeed, because now the Kamala campaign seems to be working in overdrive on its smear campaign of President Trump, and it's only just getting started. From comparing Trump to Hitler, it is deeply troubling and incredibly dangerous that Donald Trump would invoke Adolf Hitler, the man who is responsible for the deaths of six million Jews and hundreds of thousands of Americans. Saying he's a fascist. Do you think Donald Trump is a fascist? Yes, I do. Singing the same dictator on day one song. Who in fact vowed to be a dictator on day one and vowed to use the military as his personal militia to carry out his personal and political vendettas. To still making calls to lock him up politically, of course. We gotta lock him up. <laughs> Political document. This is the same redundant and dangerous rhetoric that led to not one, but two assassination attempts on President Trump's life. They've even deployed Hillary Clinton, the blast from the past, coming out of the woodwork just in time to slam President Trump before the election. Trump actually uh, reenacting uh, the Madison Square Garden rally in 1939. Neo-Nazis, fascists in America were lining up to essentially pledge their support for the kind of government that they were seeing in Germany. We wouldn't be hearing this ramped up rhetoric if Harris knew she had the lead, but she doesn't. In fact, the latest Wall Street Journal poll reveals President Trump leading Kamala Harris by two points nationally, 47 to 45 percent. And the Real Clear Politics average of national polls shows 45th President Trump tied with Kamala Harris. This wasn't the case for President Trump during this time in both 2016 and 2020. The Harris team shifting its strategy of joy and vibes to get Trump may only prove to fail Democrats like it did in 2016. Even though they chant the charting of new ways forward and tout the turning of pages, they just can't seem to turn the page on President Trump and focus on what really matters to everyday Americans, and it might just cost them in the end. Monica Page, One America News, Washington. Seem to be getting at the end of their rope when it comes to the creative stockpile of attacks. Hmm? Well, it's time now for Mark My Words, and today's entry comes from Talbot Little Jr. of Richmond, Virginia. World Series is this Friday. Tune in. Dodgers against the Yankees. Battle of the East Coast and West Coast. Shohei Otani against Aaron Judge. Two best players in baseball right now. I predict. The Yankees win game one. I believe they win 10 to 8. Time will tell. Submit your predictions and suggestions to markmywords at oann.com. And if you haven't already, download the OAN Live app on your TV and your favorite streaming devices. You can also catch any Fine Point episodes you may have missed right there in the app with our video on demand feature. So spread the word. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.